Hello, welcome to the Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market and where we talk about using the stock market so we can build wealth and all become self-made millionaires. In this video, we're going to take a look at Union Pacific Corporation, or UMP for short. There's our ticker symbol. And we're going to pretend that we're investing every single month in UMP and taking the dividends that they pay, reinvesting them back into that company to buy even more shares. And if we do all this, how much annual dividend income will we be collecting in the long run? And just how much will all well, the shares be worth in the long run as well? We're going to take a look at that here in this video. Before we move on, I want to encourage everyone to hit that like button, hit subscribe button, and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. All right, so what we're looking at here is my dividend calculator. I built this myself in Microsoft Excel. We will focus mostly on the snapshot section for this video, but the snapshot section is fed from the left side of the calculator where you get a year-by-year, month-by-month look at your investment all the way up to 45 years down the road if you scroll down far enough. But we'll stick over here to the um, snapshot section. And some things I want to point out is I've already filled in the average dividend yield, the current annual dividend per share, and this is the 10-year compound annual growth rate of the dividend, 15.32%. This calculator reinvests dividends automatically, and uh, all numbers produced are estimates only, so uh, just keep that in mind because no one can predict the future. Now I'm going to start off with $50 a month. We're going to work our way up to $4,000 a month. And you'll see all the numbers in between. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll let you know what I think a fair share price is for Union Pacific and how I came up with that share, fair share price. All right, so we got $50 a month starting off right here. This total invested column is just your monthly investment amount. It does not include reinvested dividends. So keep that in mind. And we can see here with $50 a month, uh, 25 years, you've got about $196,000 worth of shares, about $4,100 in dividends coming in. But if you stick with it, if you have more time, you have a greater, uh, longer horizon to go before you reach that retirement age. Um, you can see here by year 45, you're at $108,000 a year in dividends and a 400% yield on cost. That is very, very high. Very, very good. Obviously, the higher the better. But... The way I'm calculating the yield on cost, if you're not familiar, is I take the annual dividend, whatever that dollar amount happens to be, in this case $108,100.72, dividing that by the total invested for the same year. So that's how I come up with the 400.37% uh, 400, uh, in this case for year 45. All right, so let's bump this up here to $150. And you see here, you're a millionaire long before year 30. You have about $1.3 million worth of shares here by year 30. About $28,000 a year in dividends coming in. And well over $300,000 a year in dividends coming in at year 45. And look at this portfolio value here too. $15.5 million roughly. Now you can see here the total shares you see are, are very, very low. And you can see even here in year 45, you only got, we'll call it 118 shares even. And the reason why it's so low is because uh, starting out right out the gate, Union Pacific shares are pretty expensive. They're a little over $200 a share right now. So that's why you're seeing the, the total shares are just so low. I mean, even with a monthly investment amount of $150, you wouldn't be able to, you, know, you save your first $150, you still don't have enough money to buy even one share of Union Pacific today. So cause like I said, it's a little over $200 right now. So that's the reason why you're seeing your total shares are so very, very low. But don't worry about the total number of shares. It's all the value of those shares. And you can see here, the value gets very, very large, especially in these later years. All right. Let's bump this up to, we'll go 350. About $756,000 in shares at year 45. About 28000 here in year 25. And you can really see this, uh, this, um, uh, Dividend snowball effect here too as well. You got year five to year ten. This five year period, you're going up about fourteen hundred dollars a year in dividends, so not too bad, right? But then you compare that to year forty to year forty five, another five year period where you're up about three hundred and seventy ish thousand dollars a year in dividends. So a huge, huge increase in dividends for sure, uh, just in this five year period. Uh, compared to this five-year period right here and that's the dividend snowball effect so you just accumulate more and more wealth more and more dividends as time goes on because you're reinvesting more so uh, you know reinvesting more dividends that is so year five you're reinvesting six hundred twenty eight dollars and eighty cents in dividends that year on the fifth year but on the 40th year you're re reinvesting three hundred thirty five thousand one hundred seventy eight dollars in dividends so that's why your portfolio grows so much faster in these later years because you're reinvesting more in dividends all right, here, so we'll go $500, a little over a million dollars. You broke the million dollar mark here in dividends at year 45. We'll go 750 and 
1000. If you'd like a copy of this dividend calculator, down below in the description is a link to my listing on Fiverr.com where you can purchase a copy for just $5. Uh, you make the purchase right there on Fiverr, and then within 24 hours, I'll send you a message on Fiverr with the calculator attached. Very, very easy. So definitely check that out and check out my reviews too. If you check out the listing, I got about 14 reviews right now, I think. Uh, right now we're on the quarterly calculator since UMP pays quarterly, but there is a monthly version of the calculator over here for those monthly dividend paying companies. So you really get two calculators in one. All right, so let's bump this up. We'll go 1500 see if we pick up the pace a little bit too. So well over a million dollars a year in dividends at year 40, 3.2 million in dividends here at year 45, uh, a healthy 123,000 at year 25, 2000. Feel free to pause the video at any point. If I'm going too fast, you want to take a longer look at the numbers. And we'll go 2,500. Break the million dollar mark in dividends here at year 35 with that, surpassing 205, surpassing 200,000, that is, at year 25. Yeah, let's see. 3,000. 3,500. And four. Oops, not 40,000, but 4,000. Anybody want to see what 40,000 looks like? Let's take a look. Massive, massive numbers. You got about $4 billion a year, in, uh, or not $4 billion a year, about $4 billion worth of shares here at year 45. So if you got $40,000 to invest and you got 45 year horizon until you hit retirement, Got you, you're looking at maybe $4.1 billion worth of shares and 86.4, we'll call it $86.5 million a year in dividends coming in. Not a bad return. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, say no to $86 million a year coming in. All right, so what is a fair share price for UMP? That is also very important. Right now, and I say now as in July 16, 2022, the current share price is $209.13. I calculate a fair share price to be an even $249 which puts UMP about 16% undervalued at this time. Now, the way I figured that out is I first got the average dividend yield, and I went back to January 1st, 2018. I figured out what the, not figured out, but I looked up what the annual dividend was on that date, and then I got the closing share price on that date, and just divided those two together to get the dividend yield for that date. I did that for all these dates here on the side, as you can see. Averaged all these dividend yields together to get 2.09%. And then from there, I take the current annual dividend, which is $5.20, divide that by the average dividend yield, and that's how I get $249. Just, you know, just even $249. So by my estimation, like I said, I think Union Pacific is 16% undervalued at this time, but do your own research. I can't stress that enough. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know I say that quite often. So I really, really do mean that. It's your money you're investing. So definitely do your own research. You can listen to other people, hear what their opinions are. That's fine. Take, take them into consideration. But in the end, it's your decision. So what makes best for you uh, or what's, what's best for you, what is the best decision, what fits into your uh, uh, investment goals, uh, your whole risk tolerance, everything about that. So, yeah, you know that better than anybody else. So do your own research and make some really good decisions here. And you should, should, not guarantee, but you should um, uh, see some tremendous success, especially in the long run. Not so much maybe in the near term, but definitely in the long run, you should see some tremendous success. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit subscribe button, notification bell, post new videos all the time. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.